Hi, I'm Kathy St. George, and you're tuned in to the Video Outhouse. Ooh, what's that smell? Hey kids, how you doing? Comic Book Man back once again. Welcome to the Video Outhouse. I'm joined today by... Bo! How we're, you doing? And we're doing Marvel News! So Marvel in the comics. new and improved Marvel room. Yes, the new and improved. I've been working, working, working on it, and it's much bigger than it was before, and many, many more faces. But anyway, facings. But anyway, we're here to do Marvel News for the store's website and for the Video Outhouse video cast. Now, you can... Stop off the store's website, www.myalternatereality.com. See his review, see his news uh, for Marvel Comics. And you can start watching these videos, not only on Facebook, not only on YouTube, but I'm also posting them now on the store's website. First up, first up, we've got War of the Kings. Just when you thought War of the Kings is over with, you forget, you, you fool you, that Marvel has never found a concept they couldn't beat into the ground. War of the Kings isn't over, it continues with... Realm of the Kings. Oh, where's the toilet paper of the Kings at? Right here, War of the Kings. In case you haven't read this, well, if you have read this, or even if you haven't read it, the end of this thing had Black Bolt and Vulcan supposedly die, and they opened up this big, giant hole in the space-time continuum. Realm of the Kings will show you what happens with this big-ass hole in space and time exists. You want to see that big ass hole in space and time? Here you go! Right Woo! Here, that big ass, ass hole in space and time. <laughs> That, that, yeah. that event, we by the way, starts. <laughs> it starts in November. Boy. Yes, it starts in November. But this hole goes on all the time. <laughs> Next up, Thunderbolts is at the creative team shift. It is now being helmed by. Right now, Andy Diggle's writing it. Andy yes. Diggle will be starting Daredevil with Daredevil 501. Mm -hmm. So the book will now be written by Agents of Atlas's uh, Jeff Parker. Jeff Parker, who actually is a very good choice because he likes dark stories. And in case you haven't been reading this, and you should, because it's a damn good book. This is a very dark book. Park will be starting also in November. Seems to be a lot of themes about November going on. I don't know. Okay, next up, I don't have a prop for. Nick Fury, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. has has never gone more than, I think, 40 issues with a series for whatever reason. He's not all that interesting. But the concept itself just hasn't been able to, to carry a book for more than 40 issues. But that won't start Marvel. Marvel, because they've come up with a better idea than S.H.I.E.L.D. Not go with S.H.I.E.L.D. Go with... Sword. Sword! For those of you What does Sword stand for? I don't know. Supreme you, wankers of... I, you'd have to ask Joss Whedon. Uh, retired... Uh, <laughs> dogs. <laughs> there you go. Good enough. Sword is a... Uh, is, Sword. Was a, yeah. Sword was an agency invented while he was working on uh, the X-Men. Yes. Uh, the new series called Eight called Sword will be from Killian Gillen and Steven Sanders. Okay. It has Agent Brand, who's the only member of the team. The Beast. Beast. Lockheed, the little funny dragon. And everyone's <laughs> favorite red-headed guy with glasses who's a pain in the ass. Henry Peter Gyrich, who, Gyrich. In, who in the first issue says, you know, there are too many aliens on Earth and we need to get rid of them. Okay, well, you get started on that. Yeah, it's never <laughs> you get started on it. Remember this. Remember Most this. people like to forget it, but remember this. It's not dead. It's not dead. It hasn't disappeared. It's coming back in a big way. This is a, well, this was a limited series written by John Favreau, who directed Iron Man 1, Iron Man 2. Iron Man 2 is being edited right now. John Favreau is working on the final script for this limited series. And once he hands his script in to Eddie Granoff, the artist, this will finally be finished. It's not a movie adaptation. It's not a movie adaptation. It's just basically uh, Tony Stark in Las Vegas fighting Fing Fang Foom. Also, for stuff that's lost, J. Michael Straczynski is finishing off the 12, so the last issues of that will be showing up probably about November, December, January, and then that'll be over, too. Okay. So you can actually move the stuff around in your boxes now. Okay. Young Avengers. Young Avengers is not dead. They don't seem to be able to know what to do with it, but they're restarting this thing again for the umpteenth time, right? Alan Heinberg is right, he's the guy who created the entire concept of Young Avengers. He has written an eight-issue limited series bringing the characters back. The first four issues are done, and they are in the hands of artist Jimmy Chung, and Chung is drawing them right now. You should be seeing the first issues of this probably by January or February of 2010. Okay. If you like Band of Brothers, the World War II HBO series, and I do, you'll love Band of Heroes, which is taking a bunch of timely characters nobody cares about and making a band out of them. And they go on the road to Woodstock or something. What happened? What, what shipped this week was the Marvels Project Number One. Well, it's over there. You should have told me I would have gotten the it. The Marvels Project Number One is basically uh, taking place back during World War One, World War Two. Uh, there will be a follow-up to this called Band of Heroes, be written yes. by Paul Jenkins. It'll be set in that World War II era. It'll use a bunch of timely characters. It is yes. a follow-up. 
and it's called Band of Heroes. They don't know who's drawing it yet, but I'm assuming it's somebody famous. Maybe like Billy Tan. I don't Maybe, know. Well, hopefully it'll be somebody good. Somebody really good. Okay. Thor. Last thing we got is Thor news. Who's working on this pig? Actually, this isn't. This is Straczynski, but one day take it over. Straczynski's leaving because he didn't want to do a Siege of Asgard crossover. That is no longer called Siege of Asgard. Apparently it is called... They just said that to get him out of the book. Apparently it's called Dark Siege, and it was oh. done by... <laughs> Siege of Colon. Brian Michael Bendis and the artist for Thor, Oliver Copiel. It will basically involve the character of Thor in Asgard and mix him in with the mainstream Marvel Universe. My natural assumption is because Marvel doesn't want to talk about this, but it's kind of the secret's already out. You got these list specials coming out that have Norman Osborn wanting to do stuff to the Marvel Universe. Well, one of the things that Norman may want to do is the fact that you've got Asgard hanging like up here over Oklahoma. Yeah. I think Norman's going to try to take over, and Thor's going to go, I don't like that idea, Norman. I think I'm going to basically pound that goofy haircut out of your head. No more speed bumps. No more speed bumps no more for speed Norman's bumps. head. No more speed bumps. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay, well, that's going to do it for us. We're done with Marvel news. That's it for this time. Be sure to stop off at the website, www.myalternaterealty.com, to read all of the news that he posts up featuring Marvel Comics. Until next time, this is Comic Book Man. And Bo. Saying, bye! Come, ba Come back in and visit the big, giant-ass Marvel room. It's huge! <laughs>